I've created Telegram bots to help me track invoices, log my daily calories, and monitor stock prices. Have you ever wondered how Telegram bots are created? It's actually incredibly simple, and you can build powerful automation tools without writing a single line of code. Telegram bots can be game-changing for business owners, freelancers, or anyone looking to simplify their daily routine. In this video, I'll walk you through a step-by-step -step process on how to create a Telegram bot and add real intelligence to it so it can perform almost anything you can think of, from customer support to personal productivity tracking. Let's get started. First, we'll start by creating your bot in Telegram, which takes literally seconds. In Telegram, search for Bot Father. This is Telegram's official bot for creating new bots. In the message area, type forward slash new bot. Provide a name for your bot and a unique username ending in bot, then copy and save that token that's generated. You'll need this token to connect your bot to AutoKit. Think of it as the private key that acts as your bridge between your Telegram bot and AutoKit. And by making this connection, it makes AutoKit the brains of our Telegram bots. Now here's where it gets interesting. You have two main approaches for powering your bot and choosing the right one depends on what you want to accomplish. Use simple workflows when you need predictable, straightforward responses. The bot has a single clear purpose. You want consistent behavior every time and you're dealing with simple data processing or notifications. Use AI agents when you need the bot to make decisions based on context, users will ask varied, unpredictable questions. You want conversational, human-like interactions, or the bot needs to choose between multiple possible actions. Think of it this way. Simple workflows are like following a recipe one step at a time, while AI agents are more like smart helpers that can adapt and think on the fly. Now, let's connect our Telegram bot with an AutoKit workflow. From the AutoKit dashboard, click on Workflows, then click on Create New Workflow. Give your workflow a name and click Create. Next, add Telegram as the trigger. Under Select Connection, click on Create New Connection. Give your connection a name, and then copy and paste in that token we created earlier, and click on Connect Telegram. Then click Continue. Next, we'll have to test the connection. So go back over to Telegram, click the link of our bot that we created, and click Start. Then go back over to AutoKit, and we'll now see that the data has come in from our Telegram bot. Now click Save. Let me show you one simple but powerful workflow. With Telegram already set as the trigger, let's add OpenAI as the action step. On the plus sign, search for OpenAI, select it, select our event, Chat completion. We'll have to connect our OpenAI account through an API connection. We'll have it here. Click continue, select our model, and enter our AI role. Finally, in the message, we want to grab the message from our Telegram bot. In this case, it's just message text here. And click continue, and then click on test action. Our action tested successfully. Click save. Next, we want to send our OpenAI ChatGPT response back to Telegram. So our next and final step is Telegram, select event, send message, select our connection, which is the one that we created, click on continue. Our chat ID, if we hit the at symbol here, go to Telegram, here's our chat ID, select that. And then in our message text, we wanna grab our OpenAI message and click continue and click test action. And we'll now see a message appear in our Telegram bot right here. You're essentially using your Telegram bot as a personal chat GPT interface that you can access from anywhere. Perfect for quick questions, brainstorming, or getting writing help on the go. But here's where things get really exciting. AI agents can create truly intelligent bots. Let's build an AI agent powered customer support workflow. The idea here is that when a message comes in from the Telegram bot, the AI agent doesn't just follow a script, it actually analyzes the customer's question and decides on the best course of action. It can search through your knowledge base, like a Google Doc with FAQs, use web search to find current information, 
or even escalate to support by creating a ticket. The AI agent makes these decisions intelligently, not just following predetermined rules. I've already created the Telegram bot, so let's set up the trigger. So we'll click the plus sign here and search for Telegram. Select our connection. In this case, it's the AutoKit chat bot. Click on continue. And then we have to do our test. So we'll go over to Telegram and we'll just type in test in our bot messaging and go back to AutoKit and we'll see that it's been received. Click save. Next, we'll add in our AI agent. So click the plus sign, search for AI agent right here. Under select connection, you'll need to have an open AI API connection and then click continue. Select your agent model, we'll stick with 4.0 and then we're going to give it a user query. In the user query area, we're going to add in our message from our chat bot. So we'll scroll down here and click on message text. And then in the session key, we're gonna be using our chat ID so we'll select that from our list here. And then for additional instructions, you want to give some idea of what your AI agent can do for itself. So we just give it some basic instructions and its capabilities. And then we'll just scroll down the bottom here. Nothing else to add. Click continue. And we'll click on test action and then click on save. Before we add in our actions for our AI agent, let's click on our final step here, which is to send our output from our AI agent back to our Telegram chatbot. So we'll do Telegram here for our search and select it and send message is our event. Our connection is our one that we set up here and then click on continue. Our chat ID again will be from Telegram and we'll just find our chat ID here. And then under the message text, we're going to select from our configure agent here and select response output, final output will be here. This is where our AI agent will be, be able to communicate back to our customers and click continue and click on test action. You'll get a message in Telegram saying final output here, as you can see right here. And we'll just click on save. Now let's get into adding our actions for our AI agent. So the first one we'll add is a Google Docs database. Fetch content of document will be our event. You'll need to have a connection to Google Docs and click continue. And from our document ID, we'll select this file right here, AutoKit resource guide. And we can give our AI agent instructions, something like that will be fine and click continue and click on test action and click on save. Next, let's add in a web search component through OpenAI. So we'll click add new action, search for OpenAI. Our event here will be web search. Again, we're going to need our connection to OpenAI through an API and click continue. For our model for our web search, we'll use 4.0. And then you'll notice here we have dynamic mapping for the input. This is where the AI intelligence is coming through because it's going to interpret what the customer is looking for and decide on whether or not it needs to search the web or not if it can't find it in the Google Docs. But we will put in a specific instruction here to help it along. And then we'll click on continue here and click on test action. And then we'll click save. Let's add one more action here for this demo and we'll do fluent support so that we can create support tickets. We'll select our event and that would be to create a ticket and we'll select our connection and we'll click continue here. And on the configuration tab, we'll notice that we have all of this dynamically mapped with our AI agent. And then we can do show optional fields here and we can select the mailbox and we can also give it a little instruction here basically reiterating what we're doing here, creating a support ticket using Fluent Support and click continue and click on test action and click save. Now you don't have to just stop there. You can expand the AI agent capabilities even further by adding voice integration or Google Sheets to track queries asked, which can then feed or update the Google Doc, the FAQs. And so just like that, you've learned how to build smart, helpful chatbots that run on Telegram powered by AutoKit without writing a single line of code. Whether you choose simple workflows for reliable automation or AI agents for intelligent decision-making, you now have the tools to create Telegram bots that can generally improve your productivity 
and business operations. If you'd like to test any of the workflows mentioned in this video, check the description for links to download their pre-built recipes. Simply import them into AutoKit and customize them to suit your needs. We'd love to know how you're using AutoKit with Telegram or how you're implementing AI agents in your workflows. Drop your ideas or builds in the comments. We're always excited to see what creative solutions you've come up with.